Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we went to Space Paranoids and defeated the MCP. In this episode, we are going to head into a hundred acre wood and complete it a hundred percent. Seriously, a hundred percent. We have all of the torn pages now, so we are good to go. So as soon as you're ready, come over to the book and enter into the book and see what's going on with Mr. Pooh Bear. Mr. Mr. Pooh Bear. Every single time you get a torn page and you come back into the book, a new area will appear. And it looks exactly like it did in the first game, which is really cool. We have the option to leave the book over there, or, uh, you know, go into Pooh's little Pooh Bear's house, which is where we actually started a long, long time ago. Uh, I'm actually coming in here to one, talk to Pooh. Hello there, somebody I don't know. It's a beautiful day today, don't you think? Uh, and we are also going to, uh, go ahead and grab this puzzle piece. I'm actually pretty certain we can get this puzzle piece. I'm, I'm... I'm pretty, um, there we go, daylight puzzle piece, pretty sure we could get it, oh, embarrassing, but we have all of the items, so now we can just head out of Pooh Bear's house, and head to our next destination, here in Hundred Acre Wood, which, of course, is right up over here, this is Piglet's house. Hey, what's wrong, Shani? Oh, I was just thinking, and, and wondering... You should be skedaddling out of here. Why? Why? Because it's Wednesday, of course. Wednesday? Oh, well then, happy Wednesday. Now, I think I shall wish everyone a happy Wednesday. No oh, bother. Let's see now. Who is everyone? If Pooh's here. Oh, help! Help! Somebody save me! Piglet! Sora! Help, please! Hold on, little guy. Alright, well, this isn't good. Again, Pooh Bear doesn't remember us at all, and apparently. Uh, doesn't remember much. Right there, we can get a Mithril Gym, which is pretty good for us. Right over here, we can grab... It's a big item, too, so you know it's gonna be good. It is a Defense Boost, which is actually uh, one of the best items you can get, seriously. Uh, and we can grab another Daylight Puzzle Piece. What's that, two already? Oh, we're, we're cruising, man, we're cruising. All of these stumps remind me of the first game and uh, uh, the area with Rue and Tigger. It's really cool. This must be Piglet's Grandpa's name. Uh... Trespassers will? I don't... I don't think so. I really, really don't. The small mailbox reads Piglet. Okay. Well, let's grab this chest too, because it's kind of hidden there. It kind of can't see it. It's an AP boost. The most useless item in the game. Uh, and of course we can grab Piglet. Uh, or not. Okay. Pick... Uh, come on, man. Come on. There we go. Embarrassing. There you go. Whoa, thank you, Sora. Oh, here comes Pooh Bear. Pooh, you're all right. Why, hello, it's nice to meet you. Happy Wednesday. Nice to meet you, but Pooh, it's me, P P Piglet. Don't you remember me? And me too, we're friends. We are? Hmm, it seems I can't remember. I can't do a Pooh Bear voice. I'm just gonna call it out there right now. Let's call it out. Oh, Pooh, that's very sad. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, and Piglet goes bye-bye. Bye, Piglet. Goodbye, Sora. Goodbye, Pooh. Piglet. Oh, boy, that looks rather fun, doesn't it? I say, it seems we have a rather serious predicament. Sora, would you mind going after poor Piglet? And we get the Blustery Rescue, which is a mini-game that we can do here in Hundred Acre Wood. That's all Hundred Acre Wood is, by the way, is mini-games. If Pooh falls off, press triangle to grab him again. Keep an eye on the clock. Press X to hit incoming objects. Press triangle to save Piglet when you finally do get to Mr. Piglet. 
So this one's really easy, and you actually don't have to worry about anything right now. Just survive. Seriously. Uh, break as much of these as you can. Gather as much honey. It doesn't even matter because it's not even keeping score. Use the tornadoes or the wind when they comes uh, to break everything that's around you and gather all of that honey. It's super, super easy. Uh, you just need to break as much of this as possible. This is actually going to be really important later because we have to redo all of the mini games that are actually in this game uh, or in Hundred Acre Wood to complete Gemini's Journal. Because don't forget, we are going for 100% in this game, 100% Gemini's Journal. These stumps are a little bit more to, to break, but that's okay. Right now, I'm using the Keyblade the Decisive Pumpkin, which is fine. Uh, but when we want to complete this game, uh, this mini game, actually, we will be switching to the Guardian Soul. And the reason for that is this Guardian Soul is just a Whoa, we lost two stumps there. That's fine, though, because we're not going for a high score. Um, the, the Guardian Soul is actually one of the biggest Keyblades, so it's actually just really easy to use it in this area. And those, uh, obviously those pots are the best to break to get so many. Right here, oh, we lost Pooh! That's okay, we can use a triangle and get him. And then use Tornado and blow all of those away. And then again, just hitting these pots, look how much honey that gives. Oh, but we missed a few. Oh my god, I'm so trash right now, I'm so trash. Uh, we can use this Tornado to break those if we so choose, uh, and break all of these. Again, you kind of want to hang out in the center of the screen, especially right now. This is really important, we lost Pooh, so unfortunately we won't get any honey from those tree stumps. Good thing that this time doesn't matter, right? Because I have done horribly, horribly during the- We lost Pooh again! Oh my god. I promise I'm better. But we did get Piglet, so like I said, doesn't even matter. Jump down, Piglet. I'll catch you. Oh, did it deer. You can do it, Piglet. You just have to be brave. Sora. All right, Sora. Out to try. Oh, that was rather frightening. I do hope you're all right, Piglet. Oh, Pooh, you remembered my name? You really, truly remembered? Of course, Piglet. But today, I think I shall call you my friend Piglet, who is very brave. Me? Very brave? No, but it's easy to be brave when I have a wonderful friend like you, Pooh Bear. I'm happy for you guys. Oh, and thank you for rescuing my friend Piglet, somebody I don't know. Oh, uh, sure, don't mention it. Uh, sure, yeah, whatever, Pooh. And it pops up! It's a pop-up book! It's a pop-up book now. Interesting, and it'll actually kick us out of the book. The book? <laughs> well, I don't know why I said it like that. And we have to go back in uh, every single time. Because again, the game thinks that you don't have all of the torn pages. Now, it's worth noting that you could do this during the course of the game to get those little extra items and kind of help yourself out. Uh, but honestly, I think it's just better to get all of the torn pages and come and do this in one clean go. Honestly, we haven't really faced super hard challenges. Nothing compared to what's coming, that's for sure. Too bad, Eeyore. After all that work. No matter. Most likely would have fallen down anyway. Well, I'll help you fix your house, Eeyore. Oh, hello there, Piglet. Thanks for offering. Wouldn't want to spoil your fun day, though. Well, hello, Piglet. And hello, somebody I don't know. Pooh, this is Eeyore. You know Eeyore, don't you? Um, I do? 
What could have happened to him? Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Pooh's tummy is so rumbly that it's making him forget. If we bring him some honey, he's sure to remember. Well, um, I guess it's worth a try. Might work, but probably not. First, we gotta find some honey. If honey's what you're looking for, I know just the place. Follow me. And we're here in Rabbit's house. And right here we can of course grab a big item which is going to contain a drawing. Actually pretty useful for certain uh, little things that we'll be doing in the game, don't you worry. Uh, we can check the clothesline, not a big deal. And we can come over here and grab this treasure chest which is going to contain a mithril crystal. And then right here we can come up, uh, really? Really? Okay, there, that makes more sense. Uh, and another AP boost. You guys remember this garden from the yeah. first game, yeah? This is the garden where we had to prevent Tigger from actually bouncing on the vegetables and making them go into the ground uh, so that we couldn't get to them. I know it's a little weird, but whatever, we did it. Right here, we can grab a daylight puzzle piece, yet another one. Splendid, just splendid. This is the place I told you about. Wow, look at that. How yummy for my tummy. But doesn't that honey belong to someone? Yeah, you know, rabbit. Oh no! Oh, he ate all my honey! My honey! Oh, poor rabbit, dude. I love rabbit, by the way. One of my favorite. Him and Eeyore, dude. Pooh, did you eat all my honey? Oh, hello. It's nice to meet you. What did you say? Is that for me, too? Oh, dude, don't even. Don't even eat it. Oh, I was sure I'd found a safe place for it, too. Sorry, it's our fault. We brought Pooh here. Oh, hello, Sora. It's good to see you again. Why does everybody else remember me but Pooh Bear? Poo doesn't. That's poo. <laughs> Pardon me, somebody I don't know. Is there any more? Are you feeling all right, Poo? Could you really have forgotten all about me? What on earth is going on? Is there more, honey? You see, my tummy's rumbly. That's it. He's so hungry, he can't remember a thing. Oh, well, well, we thought that too. Then let's stuff this bear full of honey. I wouldn't get my hopes up. <laughs> but I threw, I thought Pooh ate all your honey, rabbit. Must have some emergency honey laying around. And now we get the honey slider. This is actually one of my favorite ones. Press and hold square to move left and right quickly. You should actually just keep it pressed down the entire time. The game is over. If Pooh has run out of HP, uh, Gopher is also going to be in this. And he's going to be incredibly important. So make sure you grab that. See, just by holding square, uh, we are able to move around super fast. Uh, I did miss, I did miss some, look at this. Oh my god, I'm awful. Uh, all right, well, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter though, because again, we don't need to get a high score on this one, so we can just do whatever we want. This is all about just getting the practice for these mini games, doing the story, uh, and getting through these pretty much as fast as you can. You don't really need to do too much else. Right there, we can go. I love this. I, this is why I love it, because we go, we go op up and over uh, the book, which is just so cool. Is that awesome? Anyways, uh, now we have to actually avoid the obstacles, which is pretty easy to do. Look at this. It is just so beautiful. I love this. I love this portion. So much better than the, uh, jungle slider in, uh, the first game's Deep Jungle. If you guys remember that when you're, you know, going through the vines and stuff. Right there, we can grab Gopher. Uh, he'll actually take a hit for us so that Pooh won't lose any life if we accidentally hit something. Which is just handy to have in general. Even if you're really good at this, mistakes happen, man. 
And now we're in, now we're, it's a bit nipply. Uh, now we're in the snow. Indiana Jones style. We gotta run from the, the, the boulder. Crash Bandicoot style? I don't know. We just gotta get away from it. And we got another gopher, because we didn't use the first one. We did lose gopher just then. Uh, and now we lost poo, but we can go ahead and kick him back up. No problem whatsoever. That little bit right there is actually one of the hardest parts of this minigame. Just that little bit. Um, but, you know, getting hit by a big snowball is fine too, I suppose. And uh, that will roll us into the next page. And right down into this. I, again, I just love it. It's so cool. It's just such a good... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, don't forget another gopher! Uh, I love how many gophers they actually give you. Every single portion, for the most part, they give you a, 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 a gopher, a free hit. Uh, that one's a little hard, that little spot, just because of the, the way that the camera works right there. It's kind of hard, but it doesn't matter. We finished, and we got some honey for Pooh Bear. There now, Pooh. Have just as much as you'd like. Why, thank you. Pardon me, kind somebody, but do you know where I might find another smackerel or two of honey? Oh. <laughs> My tummy seems to be telling me there's some honey right in there. Marla, I'm stuck. Ah, uh, he still doesn't remember. What in the world has gotten into Pooh Bear? Whatever it is, we better help him. Oh, yes, and quickly, too. Oh, stuff and fluff. One, two, three. You're okay now, Pooh. Well, I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. Why, just, just look at him. He doesn't even remember who I am. <gasps> Perhaps it's all this blustery wind, or or maybe he actually needs more honey, or he's he's sleepwalking and, and dreaming. Well, if I am dreaming, which I suppose I could be, I hope that I get to the part where you invite me to lunch again very soon, Rabbit. That's right, you're always stopping by for lunch. <gasps> Wait, Pooh, you called me Rabbit. Well, of course, Rabbit. What about Eeyore? And do, do you remember Eeyore too, Pooh? Oh, hello there, Eeyore. It's ever so nice to see you today. Thanks for noticing me, Pooh Bear. And hello to you too, somebody I don't know. <sighs> well, at least you remember Rabbit and Eeyore now. And Rabbit's house is done. We are cruising through, cruising through Hundred Acre Wood. And of course, it's going to kick us back out, and we just got to jump right back into the book. And again, it's going to spawn a new location for us to go to, which actually has another pretty fun, fun world, I believe. Yeah, I know whose house this is. We are going to Kangaroo's house. Kanga and Roo's house. Kangaroo. I made that joke in the first game, the first time I did the playthrough uh, of Kingdom Hearts 1. Thought I'd bring the joke back. So we're going to go to Rabbit's house and just double check to make sure that we got all of the items and stuff that we can get. We can also go ahead and talk to Rabbit if we want and see what's going on. He'll actually allow us to play the minigame again, which is how you can, you know, play the minigame again and complete Jimmy's journal. It doesn't actually look like there's any items that we missed here. Uh, so we can just skadoodles on out and head over to Kenga and Roo's house. Uh, which will have a new minigame for us, and actually a really, really simple, easy one. Hi. Well, hello, Sora. Yes, hello there, somebody I don't know. Eeyore told me Pooh wasn't quite himself. I thought this might be just what the poor dear needed. Yeah. I hope it'll make Pooh better. If Tink is a wonderful thing, the top some minute of Ripper, the bottle the minute of things. <laughs> a present for me? <laughs> Why, presents are what Tiggers like best, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> but Tigger, that's not for you. Wait, Tigger! 
Oh dear. Come on, let's go after him. All right, let's go after him. Kanga's house? Right here, we can grab another big item. I wonder what this one contains. It's gonna be a good one. It's a magic boost. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It could be useful for certain finishers. That's for sure. Right over here, we can get another daylight puzzle piece. We are cruising on those. And we can also grab another item which contains an a another AP boost. We have like 70 billion of those this, uh, this playthrough. Or a Calcum right there. Another synthesizing item which is pretty useful for us. We can go ahead and talk to the characters that are sitting around if we want. We can't go into Kanga's house because it's a little bit too small for us. Uh, but we could... Uh, let's go talk to... Let's see, who do we want to talk to? Who do we want to talk to? Let's see what Kanga's up to? Yeah, whatever. I don't think there's any more items or anything we can get, so we'll just talk to Piglet. Tigger is always bouncing around. We used to all bounce together, but it seems Bruce for died. Oh, no, that's not who I want to talk to. Kanga says, if Tigger would only just listen a little more, this is terrible. We have to get that medicine back for Pooh. And then, of course, you have to stop Tigger quick. Uh, we can talk to Pooh. What's everyone doing here? Is someone going to take place? Maybe a honey competition or a race? Your Shay and Pooh ever even forgot- Oh, wow. My- my Tigger voice is not good. That bottle you thought was a present was medicine to make Pooh better. Ah, who needs medicine? Why, some Tiggerific bouncing will jog his memory for sure. Well, Pooh, that looks like fun, somebody I don't know. Nothing, huh? Of course, we've all, we all gotta bounce together, that'll do the trick. We just gotta bounce together. When in doubt, bounce together. Pop the target number of balloons before time runs out. Time your jump by pressing triangle. Uh, this is one that's really easy, you just wait, you start on the trampoline, you press triangle, you get above the balloons, you pop the balloon, you land on the balloon, you pop the balloon again, you pop the balloon, and then you pop the green one, which counts for a bunch, and you just keep doing this over and over and over, and uh, and you'll be able to easily, easily do this minigame, of course, unless you're like me, and you just lost uh, a little bit, but you have so long, you have so ridiculously long uh, to get these... To get these balloons look at this we're already we're already pretty much done i just need one more oh my god i'm so sloppy today i'm so sloppy come on there you go sora and we'll clear it easy peasy lemon squaza <laughs> i bet you remember me now don't you buddy bear well i remember that bouncing always makes me hungry Oh, that bouncing and he still doesn't remember me. Well, then I guess bouncing's not the answer. It makes a Tigger almost never want to bounce again. <laughs> oh, please be careful with that. Oh, sorry, little piglet. But Pooh not remembering me has me confused. I don't even feel like bouncing. Oh, but Tigger... I always thought that bouncing was what Tiggers did best. Pooh boy! <gasps> you remember me! You do remember your old buddy Tigger after all! <laughs> That's great! I wonder who that is. Oh well, perhaps I'll remember tomorrow. It's Sora, you, you nerd. God, Pooh, why do you hate me so much? So that's another mini game in the bag. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And of course, it's gonna kick us out of the book as usual. And we'll just hop right back into the book and have a new place. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this one is going to be a spooky cave. Is this one the spooky cave? It should be, yes it is! Oh, we are so close to the end of 100 Acre Wood. Uh, no joke, we have uh, one more. After this one, we have one more area to unlock here in 100 Acre Wood. I hope you guys enjoy 100 Acre Wood. I know I do. I really enjoy this world. It's kind of relaxing. Hey everyone. 
Uh-oh. Where's Pooh? He went in there? Oh, he went into the cave. This kind of reminds me of uh, of, of Kingdom Hearts 1, where we all had to find Pooh. Um, or we had, all had to find... Who was it that we had to... No, we had to get everybody together in the, uh, the like... Uh, the the bush there in the muddy path I think is what it was called. I loved it though That reminds me of when dear cousin Alphonse say why are you all sitting around here if you're worried about that bear? Uh, let's go find him. That's exactly what I was thinking. I can't do it. I can't I tried guys I tried uh, but if there really is a Jaguar Jaguar we'd better get ready. It seems we've got a bit of time Why don't I just resume where I left off my cousin that is my father's youngest sister? Uh, what do you think we should do Sora? We should find Pooh we should find Pooh. Now, you can talk to everybody that's here in the spooky cave, uh, but there's no real point. But, I mean, they'll say some stuff. I can't imagine any of that honey. F the walls are hard and all that jazz. I can hear wings buzzing. I hope there aren't any bees. Oh, there's bees, man. There's bees. There's definitely bees. Hey, Sora, maybe we should go find Pooh. Of course we should. Let's go. There's no real reason to talk to any of them. They're just going to talk about how they should find Pooh. Uh, the courage gauge will decrease when your friends become lost and even while walking. Once the courage gauge has emptied, your friends will begin to panic. When your friends are panicked, calm them down by staying close to them. What that means is use a reaction command to calm them down. Uh, so we're going to forward march here. We have a bunch of different reaction commands. Now, you're going to notice that uh, one of the things that I'm going to be trying really hard to do is actually I'm checking to see if there's any items over here. I don't really think so. Um, there are items throughout this cave, though, which is the annoying part of the cave because it's really, really easy to get to poop. Right there, uh, this is why you want to equip double jump and aerial dodge, is that ice will actually, uh, when it when it glows like that, you'll actually slip and fall. Right there, we got a mithril gym. Um, so you want to kind of jump. Um, there's also triggers right here. And unfortunately, I hit the trigger. So these bees will not spawn if you jump over the trigger point. Unfortunately, of course, I missed that, so uh, I wasn't able to do that. And the courage gauge is going. No, oh, it's going to leave. Uh, there's no way to calm them down. See, uh, so this stinks. Why is it? It's not giving me a reaction command either. I have to wait. There we go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait for the... Hang on. We have to wait for the courage to wear off. Let's go ahead and grab this item, though. Uh, which will be a... Oh, no, it's not what I wanted. I want to open the chest. Thank you. Which will be another AP boost. We've gotten so many AP boosts. Uh, now we'll have them come with us. They should... The courage should go away anytime, which is actually what we want here. Because, again, I accidentally triggered the bees, and I didn't want to do that. All right. See? Just like that, it became uh, slippery, and it would have made us fall. Uh, okay, so I accidentally landed right on another bee trap. And, as you can see, the courage gauge is super low, so everyone's going to be panicking. Settle down, we got a full courage gauge. So, if you're, if you're running out like that, you actually want to, like, you know, just let them run out. Uh, maybe purposely trigger some bees just so that you can move on a little faster. Uh, right here, we can grab another item. Watch out for this. Uh, it did hit us anyways, but that's okay. We got an Aura Calcum. It's not like it do doesn't do da any damage. It just kind of hurts their uh, their courage gauge. And we can go ahead. We're going to slip because um, I couldn't really jump. We are going to grab a Mithril Crystal. And then right over here, we are going to grab a Guard Recipe. Oh, I think that's the first Guard Recipe. Well, the, it is the only Guard Recipe that we've gotten. Uh, but cool that we've gotten that. So we're going to use Settle Down. I kind of let them get hit by those boulders just so that the gauge would go away. And now our job is to find Pooh Bear, uh, which isn't this way, of course. Uh, I believe it's through here. I believe. I believe we have to go through here. And then there's an item. Hmm. Okay, so right there we can grab another chest. And then Pooh Bear is right over here. So we can go ahead, talk to him, and finish this minigame. With two minutes and 30 seconds pretty much to spare. Easy peasy. Pooh, there you are. Hey, we looked everywhere for you. I was looking for a very dear friend that I remember I made a very important promise to. So, did you find him? No, I looked and looked, but he doesn't seem to be anywhere. Oh, Pooh boy, so there you are. But Tigger, did you have to bounce me so bouncily? Gosh, I thought a Jaguar had gotten you. Oh dear. I hadn't thought of that. I do hope a Jaguar hasn't gone and gobbled up my friend. Now try to remember, Pooh. Isn't Sora the one you're looking for?
Oh, the jaguar. No, it's just your tummy grumbling. You must be hungry. Come on, let's head home and see if we can find you some honey. I'd like that, Sora. Pooh, you, you finally remembered. Remembered what, Sora? Pooh. I like it ever so much when you're cheerful, Sora. Hmm. <laughs> Me too, Pooh. Oh, there's a bit of a rumbly in my tumbly. All right, then let's go home. And right now we get the sweet memories. Although it does not enhance attack strength, it increases the drop rate of drive orbs in place of money. Which is kind of useful and going to be incredibly useful for a certain way to level master form, which I'll talk about when we actually get to that. But this Keyblade is a big deal. And we get the spooky cave map. Oh yeah. And now we can head right back into Winnie the Pooh's house. All right. And we have the final area that we can actually use here, which is the Silent Hill. Silent Hill? The, uh, what is it called? Oh my god, Starlight Hill? Oh no, I forgot what it's called. Oh, bother! This is our last minigame, and by far the hardest minigame that's available to us. Sora, is that you? Help! I guess we should probably help Pooh Bear, but first, Starry Hill! Okay, I said Silent Hill, and that's not at all what this is. Uh, so right there we get a Cosmic Ring, which tremendously increases maximum AP, which is pretty cool. Of course, this is the final Torn page that you can get in the entire game, so they're gonna give you a little bit better of stuff. If I'm not mistaken, there is another item in here. I don't know where exactly it is, but I don't think it's here. I don't think it's actually here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was I was like, I know there is one here. I just wasn't sure. Uh, so right here, we can go ahead and grab a style recipe. So we got the guard recipe and the style recipe. And now to struggle. We have to struggle to get this, uh, this puzzle piece. Although it is totally possible. We are just going to have to use the Fyraga trick. Uh, hang on. I'll... I'll I'll, I'll cut ahead until I get it, because this one's going to be pretty challenging to get. Oh, so close. All right, so I think what we need to do is be a little bit lower on the hill, probably like one of these bushes. And then, oh my god, I think if we just use Fire Go right now, we'll be able to get it. We just, we were a little too high up. Let's see if this works. Oh, man. I'm trying to see if I can hit it with the Keyblade, which I am hitting it with the Keyblade, but it's not actually collecting yeah. it. As you can see, we definitely just hit it, uh, but it didn't it didn't actually collect the piece. So let's see if we can use Fire Go. Yeah, there we go. Daylight puzzle piece. That one was kind of hard to get. Of course, it will be easier soon, which is why we'll be doing a puzzle piece thing. Uh, I don't... I was just... I was just testing it out, man. Just testing it out. All right, let's get rid of these... the Guardian Soul and stuff. All right, now let's continue on with this last little mini game. Uh, and let's talk to Owl first. This is the umpteenth time I've seen Pooh like that. Sora, don't hold back. Go and grab that pot off of him. This part sucks, dude. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, oh man, why am I why am I clicking? I meant to do that. Sora, is that you? Sora, help! Uh, let's help him. The last mini game that we have here. Help Pooh out of the honeypot. Press triangle to stop the power gauge and begin swinging. Press triangle while swinging to choose the direction to send the pot flying. To do this one for Jiminy's journal is going to be incredibly hard. So I accidentally did it a little too early there. Uh, you have to. The upper right hand corner is the power gauge. You pretty much have to wait uh, until it until it fills. Uh, so let's try this again. Let's try this again, man. This is the hardest one for me. I'm not even joking. So let's go ahead and there we go and let it go. There we go. We got the pot off. Not a very high score though. I believe you need 8,000 for Jiminy's journal, uh, which doesn't matter in this one. So what were you doing here? I was thinking perhaps there's a way to make it so you won't go away. You mean a way to make me stay? Yes. Would there be such a thing as a way to make it so you don't go away again? Pooh. Don't worry. I promise I'll come back and visit you now and then. Could you make it now and now instead? That seems a bit better to me. Sora, if I go looking for you, will I find you? 
I'll always be with you, right here. You don't have to go anywhere. Just stay here, and you can see me anytime you want. You mean I just have to stay right here? Yep, that's all. Would you promise? Promise. I promise, too. And so do Rue and I. We sure do. You're welcome to visit us anytime, Sora. Thanks. After all, I must tell you of my Uncle Albert's adventures at sea. Guess you'll be staying a while. <laughs> Goodbye, Sora. Thanks, Gopher. If you ever get lonely, just start bouncing and think of your pal, Tigger. I will, Tigger. You're leaving? Yes, I really have to go. Well, I won't be sad, because you'll always be right here, forever and ever. Right, Sora? And all of you are right here, too. See ya. Look at how beautiful that is. That is one of my favorite images in this game. I don't know what, I, it's something about the animation and the, ah, uh, it's just beautiful. Look at the book though. The book is torn up. Until now. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cool. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Hundred Acre Wood is done, sort of. And we get the cure element. We now have Curaga and an Aura Calcum Plus, an extremely rare item for synthesizing. And we get the trophy always together, but we're not done yet. We need to go ahead and enter in. Uh, I'm going to show you the journal. We're, we're pretty good. It looks like we need some missions to do, though. We got all the puzzle pieces, all of the treasures that we can get on Hunter Acre Wood, which is good. We have all the albums, all the story, all that jazz is done, which is pretty cool. Uh, look at all that story. There was, like, no story in Hunter Acre Wood whatsoever. It makes no sense why Pooh didn't remember us. I don't even know. Uh, and then, of course, all of the characters, uh, which are just so awesome. Gopher, he's an excavation expert, uh, all that jazz. It's just so cool. I love it. Uh, and, of course, we have missions. We need to try everything again. Uh, I think what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know, man, speed through this, I think. I think that's probably the best bet to do. Let's start with the spooky cave. Um, you know, I, mean, I think we're just going to keep going because this is actually not too long. Uh, I just don't want the video to be incredibly long. But the Spooky Cave is actually super easy if you're just going to uh, Mr. Mister Pooh Bear. So watch out for that. Unfortunately, it did hit them, but that's okay. We'll forward march instead. Uh, you have to beat this in a certain amount of time. Well, so far, not so good. Uh, but we need to go this way. Uh, we need to watch out for the ice. Don't slip on it. Uh, keep going. Hopefully, don't trigger any bees. Unfortunately, that, uh, that thing did end up hitting them. That's unfortunate. We got to go get Tigger, who needed it to be calmed down. And we need to go into, uh, which one is it? Is it this one? Uh, oh no, we got bees. How did I even hit the trigger? Oh, that's fine, whatever. Okay, we'll hit the bees. Maybe I should have sped through this, guys. Maybe I should have, uh oh. Why is there so many bees? Why is their courage going away? Oh, team. Oh, man. This was awful. This was awful. All right. Well, let's clear the bees out so that I can get them to actually come here without the bees being a problem. Uh, right now, they're just running rampant. We still have time, though. We still have time. We should be okay here. Let's go get these guys. Come on. Oh, there's still bees? Why is there still... Oh, this was awful. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. So, now we're fine because there's no more bees. Oh, no. Are we going to be able to do it? I think it's a minute and 20 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, team. Come on, come on. Oh, no. It might be a minute 30. If it's a minute 30, we're fine. Talk to Boo. Okay. 122. I think we got it. Let's quit. That was really sloppy, but if it's in our missions... We got it! Finished within 90 seconds, so a minute and a half. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. Okay. That one was a little rough. That one was a little rough. 
let's go ahead and uh and i think the rest of these are really really easy so we might be able to i don't know i hate speeding up in videos i hate doing like the oh well two times speed or three times speed whatever it is i just don't like it so we're gonna go do starry hill because this one is the absolute uh like hardest one for us to do no joke absolute hardest one to do for me uh so let's go ahead and let's try to do this one let's hurry and help him so this one you actually want to position it perfectly i'm actually going to skip ahead until i get the right start so that was good power but we basically want him to go straight uh that is the furthest you can get so unfortunately we did really poorly there i believe we need a score of eight thousand. um so i'm gonna skip ahead until i actually complete this part There we go, we got it. New record. It has to go in a very specific spot, which is really annoying. And you need a score of about 8,000. So you have to fill up your entire power gauge and then do it. It's just not fun. Uh, I probably posted, I probably did that post. Uh, there's probably post commentary on that one. And that is because that one took me actually a lot of tries. But we were able to get it. We were able to get the 9,000 points that we needed uh, for that specific one. So now we actually want to head back to Rue's house, which I believe was this one. Or Kanga's house, I should say. Well, it's Kanga and Ruse. Uh, and we have one, well, one that we can do here, which is to talk to Tigger. Uh, and we're going to say, yeah, we want to bounce. We want to bounce. This is the balloon one. So you basically want to get as many balloons as possible. Uh, and of course, you can, uh, you can kind of keep doing this. And... Uh, Obviously, the green ones are going to help you just a little bit more, uh, which is, you know, useful. And you just want to keep doing this as much as you possibly can uh, to basically get as much honey as possible. Uh, which actually, there's a lot of honey that you can get from these. Uh, but we're going to keep get getting these and just keep going. Getting as many of them as possible. Unfortunately, we missed that one. Uh, but that's okay, because you really don't need any of the big ones. Like I was saying. And besides doing something like I just did... It's going to get you plenty of these. So, just doing this, you'll be just fine. I promise. Uh, this isn't a hard minigame at all. And just like that, we're already well over what we need. So, we could end this at any time. Uh, I'm just doing this because it's it's fun. Uh, those red ones will also give you a bunch if you are interested. Because they're so hard to land on. Uh, the, the green ones don't give you that much. But the they push you high up, which is good. And then the red ones will give you the most. Those little tiny, those little tiny red ones that you saw earlier. And the higher you get, the bigger the one you find, which will give you an absolute ton. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And then of course, all of these red ones that will spawn will give you just so many. The longer you do this, uh, the higher the score you're going to be able to get. And eventually, you're just going to absolutely plow the number away. It's not even going to be close, seriously. Uh, and just like that, we're already way over what we need. So I'm actually going to end this uh, and just let these tries go out. And then we'll bounce on this one, and then we'll just fall. Look at that. New record. We'll finish with a score of, like, wow. That's a lot. Uh, so we will quit. And if we go ahead and look at our journal, we can see, uh, I'll show you both of the ones, actually. So, we now have finished with a score, and then finished with, a with a score, uh, so all you needed on that balloon one was 2,000. Uh, and then the honeypot, obviously, you needed 8,000, which is absurd. It's such a drastic difficulty spike between the different minigames. That honeypot one, probably the hardest. Uh, and then we'll go to do Rabbit's, Rabbit's House, uh, because I actually like this one a lot. Now, uh, I also recommend at this point, um, at any point, really, uh, again, you want to equip the Guardian Soul, just because it's huge. It's such a big Keyblade. Uh, and we'll use that for, uh, not, I don't think it's this one, I think it's the next one. Yeah, let's go. So, we want to get some honey. Uh, this is the one where you ride, you ride him. Um, pretty much, you'll be fine. Just kind of complete this. Remember, keep the, the square button press the entire time and you'll be able to get these no problem uh stay in the middle of those of these and you'll be just fine you'll get all, almost all of them right there we already have like a thousand of these so we will be able to get this no problem um seriously this mini game i don't think i've ever had to redo it uh and you shouldn't have to redo it either seriously um get what's his name when you see him the gopher the gopher just get gopher when you see him we're already at almost 3,000 points just from that first part super easy the only thing that's annoying about all of this is that you just have to do these again after re after just doing them. Uh, if you did it like I'm doing, which is, you know, 
right away. Which is actually something that I would recommend. If you just got used to doing it to clear it, might as well keep that going forward and uh, and do that. Right there, we were able to get Gopher, so now we can we can take getting hit and be just fine. Uh, which is useful when you're actually going for the high score, because obviously if you drop poo, you're not going to be able to get any honey. Oh, it's coming at us. So we'll just pop over, grab all these, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, the only part where it's even going to be a little bit difficult is uh, is later on. Not even, maybe here, um, not even though, seriously. It's, it's pretty easy, pretty easy town. And I'm pretty sure Gopher spawns at the beginning of basically every single little portion that you end up doing. This actually reminds me of um, the... Of course he doesn't spawn in this one, uh, but that's okay, we're, we're fine. Um, it's, there he is. Okay, I was gonna say, I know he spawns at the beginning, but I guess I was wrong. I'm pretty sure on this one, you need 8,000, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which we will easily be able to get. New record, a finish, all right. So we're gonna quit out of this. We don't need to retry it. And then we can pop into the journal, make sure that we got it all done, which we should have. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this one's pretty easy. Honey Slider, finish with a score of 8,000 or more. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Even with that little bit of a mess up there at the end, uh, still still pretty easy to get. So as long as you're quick on getting poo back, <laughs> you, uh, it'll be no problem. So let's go ahead and finish our last mini game here in 100 Acre Wood, which means 100 Acre Wood is about to be 100% done in the journal, which is actually one of the few worlds uh, that we have 100% done in. So let's go ahead and let's fly. Let's do it, baby. So again, I have the Guardian Soul. The reason for that is just because the ridiculous range that it has. Uh, for this, you actually pretty much have to hit everything. If you don't hit everything, uh, you you probably won't end up actually getting enough points. Uh, that's especially true with these stumps that are at the end. Remember, so basically, you just don't want to lose. You don't want to lose poo. That's that's the most important part here. So you just keep hitting this stuff and use that to to break those. Ah, unfortunately, we did lose poo there. Uh, we lost a bunch there, um, unfortunately. But I think we'll be okay. The the tree stumps are what really really matters. Um, which uh oh, I missed that one. And right there, we'll just shred those and we'll get those tree stumps. So like I was saying, we're already we're we're fine. We're fine here. Um, yeah yeah yeah. No, we're good. I was a little worried because we did miss a couple there, um, but again, as long as you get- Oh, we did lose- Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't know. This might be- this might be a close one, guys. This might be a close one on this one. So you kind of- I always position myself in the center of the screen, uh, just because I feel like that does end up helping for the most part. And then, of course, we'll grab that. That'll knock a bunch out. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? We'll be fine. We'll be totally fine. We have enough. Even with that honey pot that we just missed, we, we have- we have plenty. I think you need 15. 15,000 to be able to do that. So we're going to hang out right in the middle here. Ooh, am I wrong? That's the one we need. Oh, God. There we go. Uh-oh. You know what? I think we need 15,000. I think I missed it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Not even close. Oh, I'm so wrong. Okay, there we go. And we got it. I'm like 97% sure. Uh, that we definitely just completed all of it. So let's look at our journal, and yes, we did! Look at that, 100% done. Finished with a score of 18,000, 18,000. So we actually just barely got that. That's because I messed up quite a few times. But look at that, easy peasy lemon squeezy. 100 acre wood, done. The only thing that's not done, of course, is the character links. Uh, and the reason for that is obviously because we haven't met all of the characters in the game yet, for the most part. Um, so there are some... The, once the character link is done and we meet everybody, uh, that will activate and you'll see a big a big Mickey mark right on this. But that is it. We are done with 100 Acre Wood. It's crazy. It took an hour, not even, to do everything, by the way. That's how long the, this, uh, oops, this entire recording took an hour. Even with all of the attempts and everything else that I had to do uh, off screen. So that's pretty cool, man. That's actually pretty cool. So we're going to head out of here uh, and, and not accidentally walk into places. We're going to leave the book. In the next episode, we are going to head to Twilight Town. But before we head to Twilight Town, we will focus on uh, some gummy ship stuff, actually. Because uh, we do have some gummy ship missions that we need to get done as well. So, in the next episode, 
I'll see you guys on the gummy ship. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you uh, maybe max out your own Gemini's Journal. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, man, letting me know what was your favorite mini, uh, a Winnie the Pooh mini worlds uh, mini game. For me, it's definitely the uh, the the blustery wins there at the uh, the final one that we did. I actually enjoy that one a lot. Uh, my least favorite is Pooh the Honeypot one. I hate that one. Uh, showing up on screen right now is a bunch of links that you can click, including a link to patreon.com slash missiledyne online, where for just a dollar a month, uh, you can get early access to these videos. So thank you guys very much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the honeypot. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs>